Nat gas prices retreat a little bit after touching March highs, underpinned by volatile weather forecasts, and increased gas flow to LNG export plants. It was quite a wild ride for Nat gas in the United States last week. Prices started off on a rocket ship, soaring to their highest point since March on June 26. The excitement was fueled by a massive surge in gas flow to LNG export plants. But just when things were heating up, they took a cool down, as weather services predicted a slight drop in temperatures in Texas. Monday's early weakness gave a hint of a possible bearish shift, based on the weekend's weather forecasts. Down in Texas, the heat wave had everyone sweating buckets and cranking up their air conditioners. Power usage reached sky-high levels as people scrambled to beat the scorching temperatures. Gas consumption skyrocketed, especially for cooling homes and generating power. Gas-fired plants were pulling more than their fair share, accounting for almost half of Texas's electricity production. The heat wave just wouldn't let up, smashing records left and right. Tuesday set a brand new milestone that left everyone feeling the burn. Moreover, the release of fresh inflation data by the U.S. Commerce Department had an impact on the nat gas market too. The data showed lower inflation, which could put a hold on those anticipated interest rate hikes by the Federal Reserve. This news had traders and investors grinning from ear to ear, as it hinted at reduced borrowing costs and pumped up the demand for energy. Now let's talk supply and demand. According to the folks at Refinitiv, gas output in the U.S. took a bit of a dip in June, compared to May. However, daily output was expected to bounce back and potentially hit a two-week high by the end of the week. But the weatherman had some juicy news too they were predicting hotter than normal weather across the lower 48 states, at least until mid-July. That kind of scorching heat could drive up gas demand, including exports. Of course, things were bound to cool off eventually, and demand was projected to ease a tad in the following weeks as temperatures moderated. LNG exports had their own set of challenges in June. Flows to major U.S. export plants took a dip due to some maintenance activities. Nevertheless, daily feeds to LNG export facilities shot up to a four-week high, thanks to a boost in the gas flow to Sabine Pass in Louisiana. Despite recent ups and downs, the average feeds to Sabine in 2023 remained steady compared to 2022 levels. Oh, and let's not forget about the U.S. weekly natural gas storage data for the week ending June 23. It showed a build of 76 billion cubic feet, bringing the total natural gas in storage to a mind-blowing 2,805 BCF. All in all, it was like a rollercoaster ride in the natural gas market, with twists and turns dictated by the weather. Traders and investors had their eyes glued to the supply and demand outlook, anxiously watching weather forecasts, inflation data, and storage levels, all of which played starring roles in shaping market sentiment. Looking ahead in the short term, buckle up folks, because the natural gas market could keep you on the edge of your seat with more twists and turns. Keep a close eye on those weather patterns, inflation expectations, and supply dynamics. It's a wild ride you won't want to miss. The trading session witnessed a modest recovery in the nat gas market as it found support from the 50-day moving average after initially gapping slightly lower. This development indicates a potential upward movement toward the significant resistance level of $3. However, it's important to note that breaching this level might prove challenging. Before reaching that point, nat gas will need to overcome the resistance of the 100-day moving average. Should the market surpass this hurdle, it could propel toward the 200-day moving average, reaching approximately $3.60.